Hi everyone! Today we're going to study more sample problems about this topic, simple interest. Let's have this example one. David owes a total of $3,060, which includes 12% interest for the three years he borrowed the money. How much did he originally borrow? First, let us write the formula for the total amount, and that is A, that stands for total amount, equals P as the principal, times the quantity, 1 is a constant, plus the product of R, that stands for the rate, and the T, which is time. Let us now list the given of the problem. First is the total amount denoted by A and that is the $3,060. Next is the rate denoted by R and that is the 12%. Let us convert this 12% into decimal. First, let us divide the 12 by 100. Of course, we drop the percent sign. And then we get the quotient. We will get the 0 0.12. So 12% equals 0 0.12 in decimal. Next is the time, which is 3 years. And in this problem, we are looking for the principal. That is the P. Using our formula here now, let us write it on this side and let us do the substitution. For the A, it is now 3060. P is the variable and we will copy it again here. 1 is a constant and then plus the product of RT. The R now becomes 0 0.12. And the T is 3. In here, let us first simplify the product 0 0.12 and 3. We will get the 0 0.36. We will get the sum of 1 plus the 0 0.36. And then we will have this 1.36. We want to find this P. Let us divide this equation by the coefficient of P, and that is the 1.36. So the left side, 3060 divided by 1.36, it is now here. And our right side, if we divide this by 1.36, the decimal will cancel out, only the letter P comes down. And then we will take the quotient of this. It will be 2,250. And that is the P or principal. Let us not forget the unit of measurement. P is a money. We will affix our dollar sign. So this is $2,250. This is our final answer. Let us see example 2. A Visa credit card company charges a 1.5% finance charge each month on the unpaid balance. If Marta owes $2,350 and has not paid her bill for 3 months, how much does she owe. First, let us write our formula for total amount and then let us write our given. First is the rate denoted by R and that is 1.5% per month. Let us convert this 1.5% into decimal. So we will put 1.5 over 100. 
we will get the quotient here. So the answer is 0 0.015. So 1.5% equals 0 0.015 in decimal. And this is the rate per month. Now, the principal denoted by capital P is the 2,350. Next is the time denoted by small t and that is 3 months. Take note, our R here is per month and the time is given in months. Let us now solve our problem. Let us write again our formula on this side and then let us do the substitution. A equals the capital P is now 2,350 times the quantity 1, we will copy that constant, plus the product RT. And R becomes 0 0.015 times the T, which is 3. We will multiply this decimal and the number 3, so we will have 0 0.045. And then we will add this one plus this decimal. So we will have that 1.045. Using our calculator, we will take the product of 2350 times 1.045. Our answer is 2455.75. This is the total amount. We will not forget our dollar sign and this is now our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time. Hi, math enthusiast. I would like to invite you to join us and be a member of Ideology Community. If you become a member, you will help Ideology YouTube channel to make more math videos and to ease logistics expenses. See you all in Ideology Community and get this beautiful ideology fun badge and be a member according to your interest as a bronze member, a silver member, or a gold member. We love to see you in ideology community.